on 12, a close friend of theirs lost all four limbs to a contagious bacterial infection. Now, a Greenwich couple is pushing for a new state law that would require children to be vaccinated against meningitis. News 12 Connecticut's Frank Reiki has sat down with a couple today and joins us from the newsroom. Frank? Michelle, all they're asking for, they say, is that Connecticut lawmakers show the same good judgment New York state lawmakers already have. You know, he's an inspiration, that's all I can say. This is an Easter story about the triumph of the human spirit. I put myself in his place and thought, oh my God, what would I do? And about the resurrection of hope, some say. It's like you're helping a lot of people. After a 14-year-old from southwestern Connecticut lost his limbs to meningitis in 1999 and nearly lost his life. And Nick um, was a lucky one. Sarah Herbert Galloway and Barry Clarberg, both of Greenwich, are very close friends of Nick Springer. You hear about it, but you don't see the people who are actually stricken with this. He contracted meningitis, a contagious bacterial infection, while away at summer camp. It was just devastating to, to, to the community that we lived in. The couple is now pressing Connecticut lawmakers to make vaccinating children for meningitis mandatory. You know, it's necessary. They say the courage and optimism Springer has shown during his recovery would be difficult to improve upon. And it's growing and growing. He won a gold medal for wheelchair rugby at the 2008 Olympics in China. I was his hockey coach. The couple says their involvement in the cause as a family has fused them together. They've picked up the torch and they've moved on to help others. And southwestern Connecticut lawmakers are taking them seriously. And so their little movement carries forward a big cause. And to pull something like this together feels so wonderful. And Herbert Galloway is chairing a special benefit dinner in New York City tomorrow that will support the cause. For much more on the story, go to News12.com. In the newsroom, Frank Recchia, News 12 Connecticut.